After a mass shooting in Michigan, a state representative, instead of having empathy and sympathy for those with thoughts and prayers regarding the victims, basically tells you to go fuck yourself. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Nice. I'm Jasper Gonzo, and this... Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. And may God have mercy on your soul. Is what's next. Hey, what's up, guys? What's next? Hope you guys are doing well on this day. Of course, as always, this is your daily facts, common sense, and salt. Well, there was a mass shooting in Michigan um, a little while ago. And um, sadly, there were fatalities. And of course, there were injuries. You normally would get the traditional it's become that of thoughts and prayers from people across the country, across the world, and what have you, when something tragic like this happens. But for one Michigan representative, yeah, you know what? But your thoughts and prayers. That's exactly what he said. Let's take a look. This comes out of the Post Millennial. But thoughts and prayers, Michigan State rep met with backlash after remarks on MSU shooting. He did not specify whether any of the suggested gun control measures would actually prevent criminals from committing, obtaining, and using guns. Yes, that was the takeaway. But then again, when you do something this stupid, well, there you go. On Monday night, following news uh, that a gunman had opened fire at Michigan State University, State Representative Ranjiv Puri received, uh, released a statement that began with the words, Your thoughts and prayers. The statement was widely criticized, as with many pointing out that the gun reform strategies Prairie had laid out in the words following the profanity-laced introduction would only punish law-abiding citizens, leaving criminals free to carry out more mass shootings. Yes, let's not talk about my stupid policies. Let's just say you. Thoughts and prayers, Prairie began before extending his deepest condolences to the Michigan State University community. Wow. He wanted to suggest that what happened was unfortunate too common in America, suggesting that the students from preschool to college were risking their lives every day due to threat of mass shootings. Yes, you know, because those guns tend to walk and shoot themselves. All we have to offer is empty solutions. He lamented, we do not need to live like this. Take aim at those who express their deepest condolences with the victims in accordance to their religious beliefs. Puri suggested that thoughts and prayers without action are change, I'm sorry, and change are meaningless. In an earlier tweet, Perry outlined uh, some of the changes he'd like to see implement in Michigan, including background checks for long guns, red flag laws, of course, those wonderful red flag laws, C1, I. Patch McCain, regulated open carry, limited on magazine capacity. He did not specify what any of the measures would actually prevent criminals from committing their evil deeds. He told you what these policies were, but he makes it clear, yeah, I don't think they're going to work on the bad guys. Perry's statement was slammed by users across the Twitterverse, with some going after his language and others pointing out the flaws in his approach to gun control. Quote, punishing people who did not commit any crime for their actions is other deeply unjust and won't save lives. Libertarian Party of Michigan. If you uh, cared about protecting students, introduce gun legislation to end gun-free zones in schools, give students the freedom to defend themselves against attackers. And Michigan, of course, is one of the most gun-free states, the most restrictive gun control states in the union so yeah stunning and some might say brave ian miles shang wrote mockingly numerous others replied to peary's tweet as a sarcastic classy the msu mass shooter took the lives of three students and sent numerous others to the hospital some in critical condition before taking his own life this is what happened when you play stupid games you win stupid prizes this is what happens when you have, again, a Democrat liberal who's probably never even picked up a gun, looked at a gun, didn't know what one was. But then again, should anyone be surprised of the stupidity and the ignorance and the insensitivity that this douchebag just produced? No, absolutely not. And with that being said, I'm Josh Bergonzo. This is What's Next. Want to see more just like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.